Hi guys, I hope you're ready to have a great day. So today's video is all about how to have a productive self-care day. I'm going to be sharing five different tips with you and also taking you with me on my own productive self-care day so you guys can see exactly how I'm implementing these tips in my everyday life. Everyone deserves a productive self-care day every now and again, and I'm calling it productive self-care because I want to make this day last further than just today. It sounds confusing, but I'm going to explain all of it right now. If you enjoyed today's video, please like it. I would seriously appreciate it so much. Please subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you, and let's get started right now. First and foremost, before we even get into the first tip, everybody take a breath and drop the guilt. If you feel guilty for taking a self-care day, believe me, I have been there. Do not feel guilty. Everyone truly needs days like this every now and again. If you're a mom, if you're not, if you're in school, if you're working, whatever it is, everybody needs a day to take care of themselves. I know I need a self-care day when I'm annoyed a lot more than I normally am. I'm agitated, I'm frustrated, I'm unmotivated. I just don't feel like myself. If that is you, I wish I could reach through the camera, pick you up and take you with me today because you absolutely deserve this. You should do it. It will make your everyday life that much more enjoyable. You'll be in a better mood, you'll be a better mom, a better friend, a better sister, a better employee. Whatever it is, you deserve this and you should do it. So a productive self-care day should start with what makes you feel good. Is there something you've been wanting for a while, something you want to do? It could cost money, it could be free, whatever it is. What is gonna make you feel good? And what's gonna make me feel good is getting my nails done. Now, if you've been with me for years, you know I used to never go to nail salons. I went honestly like, five, six, seven years without stepping foot in a nail salon because I just felt bad about spending money on something I could do myself, even though it didn't look as good, even though it took me longer, I'm over that. The last few months I've been getting my nails done and it truly makes me feel good. When I wake up in the morning and my nails are done, I feel that much more put together. It also lasts so much longer for me having it done professionally than doing, my, than doing it myself. So in turn, I am saving time because I don't have to do it as often. And I just love it. I love looking at like nail pictures on Instagram. I love seeing people having their nails done. It makes me want to have my nails done. So doesn't matter that it does cost a little bit extra because it truly makes me feel good every day. Everybody deserves to feel good every day. So what is something that's gonna make you feel good? Let me know below. Well, here is my before. I tried to get these fake nails off on my own at home yesterday, scrubbing them, soaking them. I obviously did not do a good job, could not get them off for the life of me. So I'm going to have these removed, just have my natural nails, have them short and simple. I need it, because this is just way too much length for me. That feels so much better. Just a really pretty, simple, and natural pink shade and way shorter. They were so long, you guys. It was just getting in the way of everyday life. On to our next tip. My next tip is what do you need? It could be something you need to do, something you need to have, something that's been in the back of your head for a while and you know you need it. And for me that honestly is just to go for a nice long walk today by myself, my AirPods in and just enjoy the fresh air, breathe in that fresh air, get that vitamin D on my face, the sun, and it just seriously makes me feel so much better, less stressed. I have that like rush of energy and I just feel so much better overall. That's what productive self-care days are all about. I honestly get ideas for videos, like things I wouldn't have thought of, maybe something I want to make, something I want to do, somewhere I want to go. That is what I need today. And I know another really common thing that many of you probably need to do is just make an appointment 
treatment. Have you been thinking in the back of your head, I really need an oil change, or I really need to make that doctor's appointment, that eye exam, whatever it is, what do you need? If you just call and make that appointment really quick, you're gonna feel so much better. It's one thing taken off your list and you're not gonna be thinking about it all day, every day. So what do you need? The first two tips I shared with you were truly about today. The last three are going to lead you into several more days. It's going to stretch this productive self-care day into the rest of your week or even the next few weeks. So this tip is to set yourself up for success. What is gonna set you up for success? For me, that is getting some great healthy groceries. So we have a bunch of awesome meals we can eat throughout the week that we truly enjoy, that are good for us. Many of you know, I've been eating so much healthier these last few months. I've lost weight, I feel so much better. The last week, not so much. I feel lethargic. I definitely have not been taking care of my diet as well as I know I should be. So I'm going to treat myself to some grocery delivery, get some great delicious foods, we can make some awesome meals this week. I'm going to feel better myself and I'm also going to feel better knowing I'm feeding my family well. So tell me what is gonna set you up for success, not just for today, but for several days to come. And here is my little grocery haul for you. A ton of fresh ingredients, a few staple items we like to have on hand. I have arugula, avocados, bananas, tomatoes, grapes, a few meats and cheeses. I have my favorite store-bought pesto. I love having this for lunch all the time. And then I've been really into these rice crisps and the barbecue flavor. These are actually way better than you think they would be for a healthier alternative. So try them if you're into that kind of thing. And what's going to make me feel really good today is to know all of my groceries are put away in a clean refrigerator that's been wiped down that's been organized so I'm going to do this real quick just pull everything out wipe it down and check expiration dates while I put things back in so I know everything is truly ready to go I know many of you are well aware that I do a lot of cleaning videos and having a clean home for me is such a stress reliever. It makes me feel good. I'm instantly stressed and in a bad mood when the house is a mess. I just, I find it so hard to work. I find it hard to relax and enjoy myself. So yes, having this fresh clean refrigerator makes me feel so good. And I know a lot of you can relate to that too. The last thing I'm doing is just washing and prepping these grapes. Any fruits or veggies I can have prepped and ready to go, I will because then I grab and go. Instead of grabbing something unhealthy, I'll open the fridge and grab a handful of grapes and get on with my day. I told you I haven't been eating well, so having things like this prepped and ready to go makes me eat well a lot easier since it's just right there at an arm's reach from when I'm eating better. I feel better, which in turn falls right back to that self-care. So this is the after, everything wiped down, everything ready to go, tons of fresh produce, and I just feel so good even looking at this clip.
And that leads me into my next tip. So what is something you can do today for yourself that is going to last, ideally several weeks, several months, and today all you had to do was take the first step. And you guys, every single one of these can truly be anything as long as it's important to you and benefits you. So what I'm going to do today that's going to last is to get a Kindle. I've talked about Kindles for so long. I've always wanted a Kindle. I want to be a reader because a lot of people that I look up to are readers and I want to do the same you guys I've never been super into reading and I really want the last thing that I look at at night not to be Instagram I'm just scrolling my phone aimlessly I want it to be something I can do to actually better myself so I want to read entrepreneurial books self-help books motivating books books that are just good stories any recommendations you have I am all ears what is something you can do for yourself today take the first step that is going to last and it's going to make you feel good, let me know below. And now we're at Target so I can get my Kindle. I found the aisle where all the Kindles are and there's tablets too. So like this one, I saw so many apps on there and shopping and whatnot, but I really don't want any distractions. I just want to read, so I'm gonna go really simple. So that is the Kindle I bought. I just wanted to include a couple short clips of the dollar spot because today's about self-care. I normally will tell myself I don't need anything, keep walking, but today I told myself hang out a little bit, walk around, and just check things out if that's what you want to do. And I will link the Kindle I grabbed below because it's on sale. It's $30 off right now. Was not expecting that, but was very happy to see it. And this is what I get to do now before I go to bed and say, of aimlessly scrolling on my phone I get to enjoy this Kindle they do give you three months of a subscription which is really really cool to read a bunch of different books and try it out so wanted to mention that too I seriously love it I'm a few days in now and I honestly look forward to this every single night And my very last tip for you, tip number five, what are you excited for? What is something you can do today for yourself that you are truly so excited about. Now for me, I ordered a new camera lens. We're gonna go pick it up at Best Buy curbside. I'm so excited, a Sigma lens, one of the nicest lenses out there in my opinion for the kind of videos that I do that I have literally always, always wanted and it's going to make my video quality better. It's going to make my videos more interesting. I just, I've always wanted this, you guys. Now what you're excited for does not have to cost money. Honestly, none of these tips have to cost money that's just kind of how a couple of these worked out today for my own productive self-care routine but I know that I've worked hard I know I've been doing this for years and I know I deserve it and quite frankly all of you do too to have my videos look a little bit nicer so it could be even just walking around a new store maybe there's a new store in town where you live and you've been putting off going because there's always something else you should be doing today is your day go walk around that store go window shop go see what they have enjoy the music even have a coffee while you're walking around whatever you are excited for today girl go do it and enjoy yourself we just pulled up to Best Buy I'm at the curbside pickup waiting for somebody to bring out my new lens when I tell you I've wanted this forever I mean it hi there how are you? I'm good how are you Not too bad, huh? thank you so much thank you have a good day thanks you too well, isn't she beautiful? Sigma 35mm 1.4. I'm actually filming another video tonight, so I plan on using this then. Well guys, I wasn't planning this, but I also went with a new camera. It was hard to justify putting this lens on my old camera, and I haven't had a full-size camera in years. I really miss it, I miss the quality. So stay tuned because you're gonna see a major difference in my video quality. I'm just really, really excited. Well guys, that is officially everything for my own productive self-care day. I hope you enjoyed spending the time with me, and I certainly hope you enjoyed my tips and that you're able to implement them quite easily. If you have ideas for your own productive self-care day, let me know what they are below in the comments. I'm so excited for you. You're gonna have the best time. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're new. Recent videos and more are down below in that description box, so don't miss out on that either. And I will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.